to make him feel welcome, go wild, go crazy, welcome the fantastic Papa CJ! <laughs> Yeah, would you believe it? Nowadays, even your comedy is being outsourced. <laughs> and I'll tell you, whenever I tell people in this country I'm Indian, I get a standard response. Oh, you're Indian? That's nice. Uh, can you tell me how to defragment my hard drive? <laughs> Just because I'm Indian, you think I know everything about computers? That's like me saying, just because you're English, you're crap at sport. Oh, come on. The truth is, we're not so different. You waste far too much time talking to somebody who you think is an idiot at the other end of a call center telephone call. So do we. You show sex in your movies. We show men and women running around flowers and trees. Yet, we've hit a population of 1.1 billion. <laughs> Apparently, through cross-pollination. <laughs> Incidentally, we tried translating the Hollywood movies into Indian languages. It didn't work. Because it's got to be in English to retain its flavor. So all we did was we dubbed it into an Indian accent. Dirty dancing. Nobody puts baby in the corner. <laughs> I've had the time of my life. <laughs> Jerry Maguire, show me the money. And no American dollars. That currency isn't worth shit anymore. <laughs> some of you laughing, some of you thinking, is that politically correct? He's done an accent. <laughs> Give me a cheer if you think political correctness has gone too far in this country. It has, it has. I did a gig in a golf club last week, walked into the bar, fellow sitting there. I said, you come here often? He said, yes, I do. I said, well, what's your handicap? And he just punched me in the face. <laughs> he said, you can't say handicap. You have to say disability. I thought this is a golf club for fuck's sake. So I just kicked him off his wheelchair. Talking about political correctness, one of the most PC places is the US. And I like Americans, but the one thing I can't stand is as a brown guy in his mid-twenties flying in the US at security check, being randomly selected. <laughs> brown is a new black, baby. <laughs> Every single flight, sir, you've been randomly selected for special screening. Yeah, brilliant. Just lube up that probe and... Mm. <laughs> you know the first four times in... Mm. I thought I was just plain lucky. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm not the kind of guy who enjoys those pleasures. Well, but I once slept with a man who did. <laughs> yeah, and it's nice to see you again, sir. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> It took me a while to recognize you from the front. <laughs> no, but really, I want to change. I want to change. I wish Obama becomes president. I think the first thing he should do when he gets into the White House is rename it. Because I am sick of this rubbish. I'm sick of this rubbish. You can't take a full tube of toothpaste on a flight anymore. That's your war on terror? No toothpaste? What do you think the guy's going to say? I was going to crash the plane, but I have not brushed my teeth. I cannot go to heaven with bad breath. Those virgins will not come near me. Use your brains, think ahead a little bit. Do you, okay, do you get pissed off if you see people in Iraq burning British flags? You're British, you don't give a fuck. The Americans here, the Americans here. Do you get pissed off when you see people in Iraq burning, uh, burning American flags? Yes. yes. Now, Hell think yeah. about it. Think about it here, think about it here. The US is the largest producer of American flags in the world. <laughs> Iraq doesn't have a factory that makes American flags. <laughs> Nobody in the Middle East does. So each time they want to burn your flag, they need to buy it. <laughs> From you. 
effectively, they're financing you to bomb them. You want a higher defense budget? Don't raise council tax, export more flags. Some of you thinking, oh, that's fun of you. Some of you thinking, oh, that's a crazy idea. I tell you what's crazy, therapy. In India, nobody goes to therapy. Because as a non-native speaker, when you see the word therapist, you see the rapist. <laughs> when you see analyzed, you read analyzed. <laughs> Imagine my uncle coming up to my dad. Oh, you are having relationship trouble. Why don't you go see the rapist? <laughs> he analyzed my wife. You're a bit quiet, madam. <laughs> Did you like that rape joke? <laughs> you see, I know that when you say no, you really mean yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, oh, fuck you. <laughs> and if you are upset, if you are upset by anything that I've said, I don't give a shit. I mean, heck, I come from the land of the Kama Sutra. I could fuck you in more ways than you can count. <laughs> I've been Papa CJ. Have a lovely night. Papa CJ! Now, normally the, uh, the five-minute spot in the second half of the show is reserved for someone who's brand new. You can probably guess that Papa CJ is not brand new. He's played the comedy still before. He's a top comic, and he was just trying out a bit of new material. Let's hear it once again, Papa CJ! <laughs> Only a brave man finishes on rape. <laughs> 